From the Buzz Mania Television Studios, it's everyone's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's your host, the star of Tic Tac Toe, Brandon Scruggs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Tic Tac Toe here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you with us once again on this one. Well, our interim champion right now has had a pretty good run here on the show so far. He's amassed quite a bit of cash, and we're going to see if we can add some more to it here on this episode. So let's meet him now. Starting in our X position, he is our current reigning interim champion here on Tic Tac Toe with three wins and a cash amount of $4,600 in cash. It's Frankie. Frankie, welcome back, sir. Hey, guess who's back? I don't know who. It's me, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How you doing, sir? I am in a really good mood right now. Oh, fantastic. You ready to see if you can hold on to that interim crown? Oh, yes. All right, well, best of luck to you. Let's see how you do playing against your first competitor today, playing in the circle position in this first game. Returning to the show once again, we have Connor. Connor, welcome back. Hello, hello. All right. How are you doing? I'm good, sir. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm glad to be back in the game. Okay. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens here. All right. Well, best of luck to you both here on Tic Tac Toe. Thank you. You guys know how this works. Simple game of questions and answers. You gave me the correct answers to the questions I asked. You get your X or O on the board. First player to get tic-tac-toe wins the cash in the pot, goes on to the bonus round for a shot a whole lot more. With that said, let's take a look at your categories you'll be using in this first game of tic-tac-toe, and they are the following. We have numbers, the $1,000 question, dirty minds, secret category, geography, movies, general knowledge, trivia dare, and filing language. Of course, the $1,000 question is a difficult multiple choice question. You get that one correct, we add $1,000 to the pot. Secret category, of course, get that question correct. We double all the cash that's in the pot, so a chance for a lot of money to be added to the pot this time around. And of course, the trivia dare question is a multiple choice question with three answers. I'll give you the question and you either choose to answer it or choose to answer it or pass it to your opponent. If whoever answers the question, if they get it right, they get the box. If they're wrong, their opponent gets a chance to answer with the two remaining answers that'll be up there. Okay? So with that said, let's get this episode of Tic Tac Toe underway with our champion picking first on the board. So Frankie, where are you at? Make a selection, let's get started. One of those categories seems really intriguing to me, so I'm going to try Dirty Minds. Going with the Dirty Minds category in the upper right-hand corner. All right. Dirty, dirty Minds. There they are. All right, the way this works is I'm going to give you three I'm going to give you three clues to an average ordinary either person, place or thing. All you have to do is tell me what what it is, okay? Okay. Like, here's your, here's your Dirty Minds clue. All right. And remember, the, the clues are very dirty, but the answers are quite clean. Just so you know. Okay. First one is, here's your clue. I can get the wrinkles out. I usually get stuck in your crevice. And the more you do me, the younger you feel. For the box, what is it? Hmm. Oh, I, I think I know it. Is it Botox? Botox is correct. Very good. Yes. Put an X on the board. There you go. $200 in the pot. That's exactly how Dirty Minds works. Let's shuffle the categories. And Connor, we're over to you. Hmm. Let's do movies. Okay, going with movies. Left side of the board. Here comes your movies question. All right, under movies, Connor, here's your question. What best picture winning film tells the story of Lieutenant John Dunbar exiled to a remote Western Civil War outpost, befriending Indians and becoming intolerable aber aberration in the military? For the box, name the movie. Oh, what? 
Sorry, say that again. Uh, sounds like I never um I can't five <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? I no idea, so Okay. All right, well, that's time. I can't get to see you on that one. Uh, the correct answer there, um, the movie we're looking for, the best picture, Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves was the movie. Right? And just as a reminder, folks, and I forgot to put the clock on the screen there, but you do have oh. thir you do have 30 seconds to answer your questions, okay? Just as a oh, reminder. Oh, I was wondering if anybody can hear me. I could barely hear you, but I... When you could, oh, I heard oh. you at the end there, but it, oh, it was right okay. at time, so it's okay. I was having a connection problems. All right, no worries. We got it taken care of. We got two hundred dollars in the pot. Let's shuffle the cat. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, Frankie, over to you. Um, let's try the trivia dare. What's the trivia dare? All right. Let's see how this works out for you. All right, Trivia Dare, here comes your Trivia Dare question. Aubergine, that's A-U-B-E-R-G-I-N-E, -E, Aubergine, is another name for which of the following? Is it A, eggplant, B, squash, or C, zucchini? And you said Aubergine? Yes. Hmm. Repeat the choices again. Is it A, eggplant, B, squash, or C, zucchini? Hmm. Aubergine. Never heard of this term before. Hmm. I gotta take a stab, and I'm gonna say an eggplant? That's a good stab, sir, because you're right. Yes. Well done. Nice. Ex Eggplant is nasty. It's okay. If you cook it up the correct way or slice it when it's really fresh, it's not bad. It's not bad I at all. Food. I got food poisoning from it. Well, then you had a bad eggplant, sir. Talk about getting a bad egg. Anyway, $400 in so, the pot. Let's shuffle. Vote. <laughs> Con over to you. Uh, let's go with general knowledge for the block. All right, get this question correct. Another general knowledge block of Frankie. Here it comes. All right, Connor, Charles Darrow based this game upon the 1904 game called The Landlord's Game. For the block, name the game. Landlord's, you said? Yeah, Landlord's Game, yes. Hmm. Is it, um, is it chess? No, I'm sorry. It is not chess. Can I take a guess? Yes. What do you think it is, Frankie? It's the Monopoly. It is Monopoly. Very good, sir. Uh -huh. It is known okay. as the Landlord's okay. Game as well. All right. Set the clock. I don't know why it wasn't running on the screen. But four hundred dollars remains in the pot. We shuffle. And Frankie, a break for you. Dirty minds for the win. All right, get this question correct. Under dirty minds, it's tic tac toe. Another six hundred dollars added to your winnings would bring you up to five thousand two hundred dollars in cash. Here comes your dirty minds question again. All right, Frankie, you can find me growing around your lips. I'm much better after I get a little trim. And when you're done eating, I can get a little crusty. For tic-tac-toe and $600, what am I? A mustache. <laughs> um, let me check with the judges here. The answer 
answer I have on my card here is goatee, but the judges say mustache is acceptable. You get it, tic tac toe. Woohoo! Yes! Woohoo! Box. Nicely done, sir. Congratulations, Steve. Six hundred dollars for you, Frankie. Added to your wins it brings you now up to five thousand two hundred dollars, and you're going to go on to the bonus round in just a minute. Well, Connor, thank you so much for playing, sir. You had you may tried your best there. Just we're up against a really good competitor, but you're not leaving here to hand. We got some nice parting gifts for you, and we'll have you back on another episode, all right? Absolutely. Thank you for having me, oh. and uh, good job, Frankie. Good game. Thank you. Good game, Connor. All right. Well, congr- Thank you. All right, Frankie, ready to see if you can finally go get some money away from this dragon? Yes, I hope I can do it. Right, let's, go. Let's, play the let's play the ball this round. Seems like Fluffy is ready to play today on this one. Yeah, of course, you know how this works, Frankie. We got nine boxes on the board. Your objective is to get a thousand attack before you find the friend Fluffy the dragon in the center. If you can do that, you win the cash to the pot times the number of uncovered boxes still on the board. If you find Tic Tac on any of your two picks, you win the Tic Tac jackpot, which currently stands right now at $18,000. Five tick attack on your first two picks will double it to thirty-six thousand dollars. You have a chance to play for even more cash playing our super bonus game. All right. All right, let's do it. Good luck to you. All right, Fluffy. I've had a talk with him over the weekend, and I understand that he wants to be the star of the show. But I told him you can't take the money from everybody. So hopefully, yes, I can. Yeah, no, you can't. You stupid, stupid dragon. Don't call me stupid. That's what your mom said last time. <laughs> okay, that's it. Frankie, I want you to take this dragon down for good at this time, sir. Good oh, I'm going to. I'm going to. All right. I want you to win eight. I want you to win thirty-six thousand dollars if you can do it. All right. Start picking. Good luck to you. All right. I'm going to start with number nine. Number nine, lower right hand corner. Show me a ticker tack, please. Behind nine. Oh. Hey, it's a tick. Give me tick and I'll give you thirty-six thousand dollars. Oh boy, I was in the same spot like I think the last episode. Oh boy. I'm gonna try for number two. Number two, top of the board, looking for the little deuce. We want to see tick for thirty-six thousand dollars. My money. No. Wow, Kagreki, you just won the double jackpot, and yes. it's worth thirty-six thousand dollars. Congratulations! Oh, oh my God! Wisely done, sir. Now, let's see how good your luck really is now. You've got 36000 That's yours to keep no matter what happens. But now it is time to play the super bonus game. Here's how this works. Seven boxes still remain on the board. Six of them have cash amount behind them. One of them has the, that dragon. If you can find the dragon on this pick, I'm going to double your jackpot again. You walk away with $72,000 in cash. If you don't find the dragon, whatever amount that you find, we'll multiply it by 10 and add it to your winnings. So you got yourself 36000 Let's see if you can be the first person to go tic-tac dragon in this show's history for $72,000. Where's the dragon hiding? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, y'all can help him out. Give him some Guys, help here. where's the dragon? I need help. Where's the dragon? I'm not in four. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm not in one. I'm not in three. Oh, Matthew is saying three. I'm not saying I'm gonna go for number three. Number three, upper right hand you corner. Fucked up, big we guy. want to see a dragon behind three oh, for seventy two thousand dollars. Show me three. Oh, no dragon. Lord, but, you didn't win the big one. 
This is the biggest cash amount on the board. We're going to multiply by 10. We're going to give you another $5. So that means this time, Frankie, in this bonus round, you have matched a whopping total of $41,000 in cash. In cash added to your wings right now gives you a grand total. All in cash. Forty-six thousand two hundred dollars. Wow. That, as you would say, and I'll let you have it this one time. That that's a lot of spawn doing. Indeed. Let's see what Dragon was though. Where where, where was he at? Four. It says four. Let's see. Over the board. No, he uh, was in this one. I he was in one. He lied. He said he wasn't in one, but he lied. That's right. Well, congratulations to your Frankie. Forty-six thousand two hundred dollars all in cash, and you're the still reigning interim champion. We're gonna take a commercial break, give you a chance to count all your money, and we'll be back with another game of Tic Tac Joe right after this. Hey, too, folks. And welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. Frankie now walked away with a bunch of money. He's up to $46,200. And he's ready to take on his next opponent. Playing in the circle position this time for the first time this season, we have Spencer. Spencer, welcome. Hey, all. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Glad to have you here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I appeared briefly in season one. I don't exactly remember how well I did, but I could never get tick and tack at the same time. Well, it's a hard thing to do. It's very rare you see it happen. Yeah. But all right, are you ready to see if you can take that normal crown for yourself? You said I would. Let's go. All right, well, best of luck to you both. Let's take a look at your categories that you'll be playing with in this game of tic-tac-toe, and they are the following. <laughs> We have Ooh. fun and games, literature, math and measures, religion yes. and mythology, pop quiz, entertainment, opponent's choice, secret category, and finally, double or nothing. Three mm -hmm. tic-tac-toe classics here. Opponent's choice, of course, your I'll give your opponent a choice of two categories. You must answer a question from that category of their choice. To get it right, you get the box. Of course, double or nothing, you have a chance to earn two boxes in the same turn. And you risk it all or double for double or nothing. And, of course, the secret category, as always, doubles all the cash in the pot. All right, we get things started. Frankie, you're up first as the champion. You select. Where do we begin? I'm going to start with double or nothing. All right, right away to a tic-tac-toe tradition. That is the double or nothing. Here's the first half of your double or nothing question, Frankie. What okay. word is formed by the letters of another word placed in a different order? That would be an anagram. Anagram is correct. Now, you can keep that box or risk it and go for double or nothing. What do you say? I'm going to risk it for double or nothing. Okay. Where are you going? Entertainment. Going to entertainment right above it. All right. Get this question correct. You get both boxes. Miss it. You will get absolutely nothing. Here comes your question under entertainment. I can find the questions where... Ah, there it is. Next one in the stack. Is this under entertainment, Frankie? What Rodgers and Hammerstein musical is based on Lynn Riggs' play Green Grow the Li Lilacs? Okay, what Rodgers and Hammerstein musical is based on the Lynn Riggs' play Green Grow the Lilacs? For both boxes, name the musical. Hmm... Oh boy. Boy, this is a toughie. I don't know it. Oh, I think I might know this one. Is it Oklahoma? Oklahoma is correct. You got both boxes. Nicely done. Yes. <laughs> Oklahoma City. Put two X's on the board there. Where? Nicely done. Four hundred dollars in the pot. Good start for Frankie. We got a shuffle. 
Chapeau. And Spence, we're over to you. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go for the block now, aren't I? Entertainment. All right, going to entertainment. Right-hand corner, get this question correct for a block. All right. Spencer, true or false on this one? Walt Disney played Peter Pan in a school play. For the block, for the block is that true or false? Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say true. Good answer. You're right. You got the block. Hey. Nicely done, sir, with about three seconds left, and I don't know what is up with the clock today here, so. <laughs> it seems to be stuck at 30. Uh, it, 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 there, was an, uh, there was an update to the software that it uses for some reason, so it, it's not functioning properly. So we're going to take it off. I'll keep I'll keep a time over here, and we're going to give Spencer the block here. The, oh, on the board, we got $600 now in the pot. Let's shuffle. And Frank, over to you. Um, let's try religion and mythology. All right, religion and mythology on the lower left-hand corner. Category we had a few times last season, but really was not picked that much. So interesting to see what comes up here. Here comes your question. Here comes your question under religion and mythology. Frankie, the Last Supper is traditionally thought to have been taken place on what day of the week? Is it A, a Wednesday, B, a Thursday, or C, a Sunday? The Last Supper. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Could you repeat the choices again? Yes. Is it Wednesday, Thursday, or Sunday? You got about 15 seconds. Oh, boy. Oh. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say Sunday. No, sorry, that's incorrect. It's not a Sunday. It actually took, the Last Supper traditionally has been thought to take place on a Thursday. It took because place on a Thursday. Jesus died on Friday, sorry. That's a true statement. All right, $600 in the pot. We're going to shuffle the categories. All right, Spencer, we're back to you. Ah, damn it. We got rid of double or nothing, son of a gun. All right, uh, let's go for entertainment again. All right, entertainment in the lower left-hand corner. Here comes your another entertainment question. It looks something like this. All right, Spencer, in 1985, a lunchbox featuring what Sylvester Stallone character became the last full metal kids lunchbox made in the United States? For the box, what char for the for the box, what character was on the lunchbox? Uh, did you repeat the question? Yes, in a 19 in 1985, a lunchbox featuring what Sylvester Stallone character became the last full metal kids lunchbox that was manufactured in the United States? The box named the character that was on the lunchbox. Jeez. Uh, um I'm going to guess I don't know, Woody Woodpecker? No, I'm sorry, it's not Woody Woodpecker. Looking for a Sylvester Stallone character here. That one was John Rambo. Rambo's who we're looking for there. That's not a cartoon character. Yeah, Sylvester Stallone has never played Woody Woodpecker in anything as far as I know. <laughs> Alright, $600 in the pot. We shuffle the categories again. <laughs> And we're going to try this clock again as Frankie makes a selection. Double or nothing. Yeah, All right, double or nothing in the upper left-hand corner. First part of your double or nothing question is this, Frankie. Present-day Pakistan and Bangladesh have both been parts of what country? Present-day Pakistan and Bangladesh have both been parts of what country? Is it A, China, 
B. Russia, C. India, or D. Iran? Mm. Mm. Repeat the choices one more time. Here it is. Is it China, Russia, India, or Iran? And the clock is working now, so you got 20 seconds. Oh, what a puzzling question. No um, I'm going to take a stab and say China? Nah, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Can't give it to you. Correct answer is India. India is what's the country. Oh. Uh, all right, so no box there. Still six hundred dollars in the pot. We shuffle. <laughs> Spencer, back to you. Release that. Double or nothing. All right, going double or nothing. Left side of the board. Here comes your first half of your double or nothing question. <clears throat> dabba dabba dabba. And uh, Spencer, who are the Jets' rivals in the musical West Side Story? Is it A. The Tigers, B. The Sharks, C. The Cobras, or D. The Pumas? Uh, the Jets' rivals. I haven't seen much of that story. Uh, um, I'm gonna guess the Sharks. Good guess, because that's correct. Oh Greg. my god! All right, you can keep that box. So you're risking to go for double or nothing. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna try double or nothing. With all right, pick another box then. Bottom left. Going with the secret category. Yeah. All right. Trying to double up on some winnings here. Get this question correct out of the secret category. We double the cash in the pot. There will be $1,600 in that. In the pot, all right? Secret mm -hmm. category. Here comes your secret t category question. Here it is. All right, Spencer. What is the name of the town that the animated family, the Simpsons, live in? For the box, name ah. the town. Oh, boy. Springfield. Springfield is correct. We double the pot. You got both boxes. Nicely done. Yeah, you're in a predicament, Frankie. Yeah, don't remind me. Here we go. <laughs> we now have $1,600 in the pot. Good game going on so far here. Let's shuffle the categories. Oh, not again! And Frankie, double back to you. For the block. Double or nothing for the block. All right, going double or nothing for the block on this one. Here comes your first half of your double or nothing question. Frankie, which stone did primitive man mainly use for making tools and starting fires? Is it A, flint, B, chalk, C, sandstone, or D, marble? Hmm... Primitive man, stone. Oh boy. You said stone to make fire, right? Yes. Oh boy. Well, there's only one that I could possibly think of, but I'm torn between two. Um, Five seconds. Flint. Flint is the correct answer with two seconds Whoa. left on the clock. Good job. Oh, yes. All right, keep that box and take the block or risk it and go for double or nothing. What do you say? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do the double or nothing. Okay. Which box and I'm would you like? Which mythology for the win? Going to the center box. Not for the win, for the tie. All right, get this correct under religion mythology. Oh, wait, it's it is tic tac toe, nineteen hundred dollars in the. Sorry, this would be for twenty one hundred dollars in the pot, and you will remain as the interim champion. Again, two part question under religion mythology. Here comes your questions first. All right, in the, in the King James Version of the Bible, what are the first three words in the book of Genesis? What are the first three words in the book of Genesis? That's your first one. 
And the second one is, what name is shared with both a household cleaner and a fallen Trojan War hero? Those are your two questions. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Frankie, which one would you like to answer first? Um, I'll try the first one. All right, what are the first three words in the book of Genesis? Is it in the beginning? That is correct. Now, for tic-tac-toe, $2,100. What name is shared with both a household cleaner and a fallen Trojan War hero? For the box and the game, name it. Oh, my God. Household cleaner. Oh, I think I know it. Is it Ajax? Ajax is correct. You've got Tic Tac Toe. Yes. It nicely does. Yes, yes. yes. Congratulations, $2,100 cash is yours. You're going to be playing the bonus round again in just a minute. Well, Spencer, you gave him a run for his money at the end. I thought you might have stolen it with that correct double or nothing play there. But you are not going to be leaving here empty-handed. We've got some nice parting gifts for you. And definitely we'll have you back for another episode, sir. All right? Okay. Thank you for playing. Appreciate it. Frankie got away with the hair of your teeth on that one with another $2,100 added to your winnings. You now have a five-game winnings order on your top of the leaderboard currently for this season of $48,300. Are you ready to go see if you can add another forty possible $40,000 to that in our bonus game? I sure am. Let's do it. Let's play the ball, beat the dragon game. Come on over. Nicely done, sir. Congratulations to you. You just won yourself a whole bunch of money there, and now you're having a shot to see if you can add some more to your winnings here because you know you got to see if you could beat that dragon here. And the you way to beat me. Gonna tr he's going to try. But he will not succeed. He will fail. We'll see what happens there. All right, Frankie, of course, as you get this one correct, I get to have a shot at $10,000 in our jackpot this time around. Find Tick Attack at your first two picks. We double it to $20,000, and you'll have a chance to play our super bonus game. All right? All right. All right. Good luck to you. Let's shuffle the board around. Shuffle. All right. Let's see if you can redo what you just did and pick up $20,000 find a ticket attack your first two picks. Well, I'll see what happens here. Um, let's start with number seven. Number seven, lower left-hand corner. Let's see, behind seven. Oh! oh. <laughs> you have found me and I've taken all your money. Go back to us. Oh, fuck you. Dang it. Well... Frankie, unfortunately, I can't give you any money this time around. You found the dragon on the first pick there, so. All right, Yay. bad news. Good news is, however, if you get back to the bonus round again, we're going to add $1,000 to the jackpot, putting it up to $11,000. Let's take a look at the rest of the board, see where everything was on this one. One, one and three were your magic combination you needed to uh, take an attack. Oh, well. But hey, nothing to sneeze at, Frankie. You're still our interim champion. You still got $48,300. And we're going to take another commercial break. And when we come back, we got more kickback to on the way. So stay tuned. Welcome back here to Tic Tac Doe. Uh, Frankie's still our reigning champion now. He's still got himself a lot of money and over $48,000 in cash. And we're going to see him next time here on Tic Tac Toe defending that interim crown. But until then, we got a little bit of time left. So we're going to have another 
game of our Dragon Finder. This is our Dragon Finder portion where everyone in the audience gets a chance to see if they can add some cash to their best run here on the show. Again, the Dragon Finder, of course, you know, there's only one dragon up on our board. All you got to do is be the first person to find that dragon. If you do, you win our Dragon Finder bonus, which currently sits at $6,000. Nobody found the dragon on the last time that we played this. So, we're going to go down the line in order for all of our, all of our audience members. Give them each pick of the board. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six players in the audience. So, six of you guys have a chance with nine boxes in the board. So, somebody may not find the dragon. So, good luck to you. Let's shuffle the board around. Oh, are we to pee and we're... That? And we're going to start with the uh, Dragon Fighter going in order, starting with our interim champion, Frankie, on this one. All right, I want to find that dragon. Um, I hope that dragon is behind number six. Number six, show me a dragon. Nope, nope. 100 bucks. There. On down to Kyle. All right, let's go with uh, Mickey Mantle, Jose Reyes, number seven. Number seven, looking for a dragon. Find behind seven. Nope, ah. found a tick. All right, we go to Matthew. I'm going with Carmichael's number in motocross, number four. Number four, looking for a dragon. Is this dragon behind four? No, 400. We move on down to Spencer. Where are you? Uh... Let's go with number two. Two. Little deuce at the top of the board looking for a dragon behind two. We won! We would have won the game. And we've been playing the normal bonus round, but not the dragon in this case here. Alright, we now move on down to Billy. Bill? Got a dragon. Still looking for a dragon. William, where do you got? One, three, five, eight, or nine left. Hello. Hey, where's that dragon hiding, Will? Eight. Number eight. Let's see if he's there. Behind number eight. Demon's Cave. And now finally we go to Sonny. For $6,000, four boxes left. Where's the dragon hiding? Number three. Let's see, is the dragon behind three? No, oh, 150. If someone else had joined us here at the end of the show, Erica, you're the last one to get a shot here to try to find that dragon. Three boxes left one, five, and nine. Find the dragon's worth $6,000 added, added to your next run here, Detecto. Where is he hiding? Said one. One. Let's see if he's there. Show me a dragon behind one. And we found a dragon. Congratulations. Look at that. Congratulations to you, Erica. Six thousand. Therefore, this is going to be added to your, your first run here on Tic Tac Toe. So, congratulations to you. Let's reveal the rest of the board to show the other amounts up there. There's the 250 and a The next time we do the Dragon Fight, we reset it back to $5,000. And congratulations to you, Erica, on our big winner today. And congratulations to all our players here on the show today. Thank you guys so much for playing. And thank you guys at home for watching. Another episode here of Tic Tac Do. Remember, if you like the show and like what you see, click that like button down below. And don't forget to share with all of your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do it by clicking the big red subscribe button down there. And don't forget to ring the bell. That way you never miss a video I drop here at MVG Productions. And until the war of X's and O's wages once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs. Saying thanks for watching this episode of Tic Tac Do. We will see you all next time. Bye for now, folks.
Some of our party contestants will receive an electric toothbrush from Listerine. It's strong enough to give you clean breath that lasts hours. Listerine antiseptic kills the germs that can cause bad breath. Listerine uses directed. A punch bowl set by Canada Dry. A name that means for refreshment with a special sparkle beverage for every taste. Canada Dry is the real. A supply of pasta mops brings to be the gourmet cooking with its designer line of pasta. Everything from fettuccine alfredo to the lighter dessert pastas and sauces from Pasta Mama. A Mary Earhart super lightweight non-stop carry-on luggage. Casual, practical, and designed with your lifestyle in mind. Quality luggage that you can count on non-stop by Amelia Earhart. And one lucky member of our studio will receive science system sensor chess, providing the realism of intelligent chess and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Science Systems provide eight levels of strategic play from beginner to the advanced player furnished by Science Systems. This is Michael Gentry speaking for Tic Tac Toe, an MPG production in association with Buzz Mania Television.